What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Rockport, Texas. And we're gonna take a look at this really, really cool kind of cabin cottage style RV a lot of people are very unfamiliar with. This has some very unique characteristics to it. And one may say this is a two-story RV. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So before we go any further, if you enjoy RV and truck content, if you enjoy towing content, accessories, reviews, all that stuff, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Without the support of you, my viewers, I really couldn't make this a thing. So I enjoy doing this, I love doing it. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't had a chance. All right, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,615 pounds. This is gonna have a cargo capacity of 2,105 pounds and a dry weight of 11,451 pounds with a total length over 40 feet, 40 feet, six inches long. So this is a beast. Now, I know whenever you look at a fifth wheel, let's say this Silver Star XLT behind me, this thing's gonna weigh more. It is, it's probably gonna be a little bit longer. You know, and you know, you look at something like this, you're like, you know, that weight, shoot, my F-150 could haul this. Uh, no, it can't, just don't even try. Uh, really because you're gonna have a lot of weight transfer to the back of your truck. Something like this is gonna have upwards of about 1,800 pounds actually transfer to the back of a pickup truck. So if you couple that with a max capacity for most half tons being anywhere between 1,500 to let's say 1,900, if you're really, really looking for a high payload package version of a truck, then this is gonna be almost overweight for that vehicle or well overweight without anything being inside of it or anybody or any equipment being inside of your pickup truck. This is something that you wanna to tow behind a properly specced out, properly equipped three quarter ton up vehicle only. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of folks that say, hey shoot, Ford makes a heavy duty payload package version of the F-150 with like 2,400 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Well, they did. They actually stopped making that in 2023, except if you get a work truck, regular cab version of that vehicle, which because of its lack of, of length, you really don't wanna tow it with something like that either. So again, stick with the three quarter ton up vehicle and you should be in a pretty good position. Just make sure your three quarter ton has the payload capacity to be able to haul something even this heavy. A lot of three quarter ton high trim diesel trucks only have like a 1700 pound payload capacity. So again, just make sure you have the right truck. Anyways, we're gonna take a close look at the inside of this, then we're gonna come back outside and take a look at the outside. So this is a Cedar Creek. They call this the cottage. It's a destination style travel trailer. You can see Cedar Creek. You have a lot of really interesting characteristics to something like this. This is really meant to take out to a property and leave it there for a long period of time, almost like a cottage. You don't want to tow it around too much. They don't give you a lot of upgrades in terms of suspension, in terms of your, your hitch, in terms of tires, things like that to accommodate a lot of towing. But it is definitely set up really nicely if you're going to set this out on a piece of property. We're going to try to go in through the back door here. Very, very, very frictiony, friction hinge door on this unit. I don't think the wind's ever going to catch this thing and blow it around. You have some steel entry exit steps right here as well to get on board. All right, so you go straight in, at least from this back entrance, which is not the main entrance. The main entrance is the sliding doors over there, but there was no easy way to get to those. But it takes you right into the master bedroom. TV hanging on the wall, nice large windows. Some good wardrobe storage here. Then on this side, you'll have a spot for a washer and dryer. Because what good is a cabin if you can't wash your clothes, right? Slide in the wall here, king size bed. You can have storage underneath this bed as well. Plus the bed can lift up and you'll have more storage under there. You have four drawers here for your wardrobe storage as well. All right, let's step inside of this unit, or at least further inside of this unit. Okay, so back that way is the front living room area and kitchen of this RV. But before we go that way, let's go this way. So you have a real staircase along with handle to get you up to the second floor of this unit. And the second floor of this unit is absolutely enormous. So I'm crawling around in here right now. You probably have three foot of height in here. So you got quite a bit of height and it feels pretty dang solid. Two beds up here, a lot of windows. You are way off the ground. If you want to compare yourself to like another RV. 
So this thing is super tall. You got a vent up there. You have a nice skylight as well. Spot for your wardrobe and storage. I mean, smaller kids could absolutely stay up here. This is a great place. Just tell them not to stand up if they're, if they're over three feet tall. And then across from me, this isn't quite as high. This is about two and a half feet tall, but you have a really cool loft, an additional bed. Again, if you have this out on a piece of property, it's really nice to know that you could bring all the kids, all the family out with you, and you'd have a really good place for everyone to stay in a very cabin type environment. Because a lot of these small homes or tiny homes have little lofts just like this. So yeah, it's very cool that you have a, a unit like this that you can treat like that. All right, coming down the stairs. You can even celebrate Christmas in something like this. All right, you have your Encore one-piece shower stall. Nice medicine cabinet, nice sink, all one piece solid surface, porcelain foot flush toilet, spot for your toiletries on this side. Might need a lot of them if you have a lot of people in here. Coming around this way, you have your Dometic thermostat, max air vent control. And let me flip around here real quick. Huge, huge sliding glass door. So if you have like a little patio area out here, this is what this is ideal for. And that's why you don't see steps right here because you can actually put a permanent patio system on something like this and have a really nice entry exit. Day night roller shades already built in. Very nice, huge windows. I mean, these are absolutely enormous windows. A lot of RVs, the windows start at about the height of the cushion right there because some of it of course drops behind it and that's kind of useless space, but these, are just absolutely enormous. Even the windows at the end, super tall. And then you have your three big windows on the front, along with two windows that flank them on the side. Huge sofa that folds out in almost a king size bed, as well as your theater seating right here. Nice little fireplace area, some storage, your TV's mounted on the wall, plus storage above it. This has the insignia. Actually, no, this is the upgraded Greystone four burner cooktop oven. So this stove combination right here is the competitor to the Insignia, and it looks just as nice in my opinion. Really nice microwave already in place. This is a LG microwave, full-size residential. Huge island. The island has a lot of drawers on it for your silverware, all of that stuff. Plus this probably flips down. Has your silverware divider already in place. Dual basin stainless steel sink, huge sink. This is like totally residential. Nice Corian surface countertop on it. And it's a very, very deep island compared to most. Price on this unit, 112,904 from an MSRP, which means the sale price on this unit is gonna be much less than that. So if you're interested in it, give the folks at Explore USA here in Rockport a call. Nice size pantry. I love the fact that they put these little pull-out shelves as well. It definitely makes it easier to get into your pantry. I can always appreciate it when I see those in RVs. And it's actually a real see-through door. Oftentimes it's not. Oftentimes the door you get is just kind of a glass overlay on top of wood. You have your LG residential refrigerator in here as well. Plus you have a great spot for a coffee maker. Look at this huge area right here. Absolutely enormous. If your Wi-Fi booster there also. I know it's visible, but it's also nice that you can service it very easily and use your ethernet ports and everything to be able to connect into it. And this actually looks like it is a router. No, so this is gonna be your router and booster combination. Lots of cabinets. This thing is really, really cool. Nice little coat closet right here. All your controls right there for your slide outs, lighting, water pump. And then there is the loft. So the kids would be up there playing, looking down at you while you're cooking, while you're enjoying whatever scenery is outside. You know, this is just great. If you have a large piece of property or a small piece of property and you just want something that you can set out on it and enjoy it with, Something like this could definitely be an option for you, especially because you can move it if you need to, versus building something that can't really be moved easily at least. Really nice dinette area that can expand out so you can see a few more people at the end. But what do you think? 
Anyways, let's take a quick look at the outside of this unit. There's not going to be a heck of a lot going on. It's not going to have any type of major suspension upgrades and stuff like that. So we're just going to quickly look over the outside. So we're going to start from the back of this unit, actually, because there's actually more going on back here. First and foremost, the incredible height. This RV is super, super high off the ground. It doesn't have frameless windows. Would have been nice maybe if they would have put a window in the door here. That could have been blocked off. Tires on this thing are going to be pretty basic tires. Look like they're the Ridgeway Sport ST tires. Probably an F-rated tire. Probably set on the sticker. You have a standard equalizer in there. Does not have heavy-duty shackle straps or greasable wet bolts. Rack and pinion slide on this side. 12-inch I-beam frame. Standard scissor-style stabilization jacks. Coming over here. Got a spot for up to two 40-pound propane cans, which is really nice. So you can have a lot of fuel on board if you need it. Standard 2 and 5 16 inch conventional hitch. Got your chains in place. This right here is actually what you would house your, your cable and it plugs in underneath it to keep it elevated off of the ground. Or I guess in the case of this one, it plugs in on top. Like this. Propane lines running down the side. Currently no battery on board either. Rack and pinion slide over here, rack and pinion slide in the back. Very cool though, what do you guys think of this unit? This thing is absolutely a massive, massive, conventionally towed destination style RV. Very tall, and you know, as much as people probably give me hate for calling it two-story, I do feel it's a two-story unit. Anyways guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.